Can you tell us about any of your war experiences for the Second World War? Well, I suppose it all started when I joined the Home Guard. I was in there for about 12 months, and we used to guard the uh, Thelmere Lake in case there was any anything sort of landing on there. Nothing ever did, but it was good fun. We only had one rifle, I think, and one round of ammunition. That was all the weapons we had, so it been rather a, a thin do if we had been attacked. But we did that for quite some time, and alternate had two nights a week with that. The other night was training and on duty in the drill hall. We had some old First World War sergeant and a sergeant major, and uh, we really learnt the basics of army life, which made it very easy when the, the uh, general army sent, sent for me, and I went to work in it, had my examination, it was A1, so I was found myself in the Royal Corps of Signals. Did my training at, in Wales, moved down to Devon, I was in the Devon Southern Command for quite some time during the Plymouth and the big air raids down there, which was quite something. And then I was moved into Scotland, preparing for overseas. And after a few, three months there, we found myself on a tro troop ship headed for Algiers in Africa. And I was there until after the North African War and campaign was over. I remember being in Tunis for the Grand March past, and then of course there was a preparation for Italy, and I was on the Toronto landings, and spent the next 20 months in Italy during the entire proceedings there, on the Adriatic side mostly. Quite a lot of fun there, as well as the other sort. I remember Christmas time, the first Christmas, I, we were in a olive grove, and I got hold of a, a chicken, I thought, now we'll fatten this up for Christmas. Well, we got it fattened up, but we got too much attached to it, and we couldn't do anything with it when the time came. That was just, by the way, just to show that it wasn't all uh, the tough stuff. It was a lot of fun, if you like to make it that way. Anyhow, we proceeded from there right through Italy until the end of the war visiting various places, Venice, Florence, Rome, Vesuvius. I was up to, went up to the top of Vesuvius, incidentally. Uh, generally speaking, it was a, a funny life. I was never in a bed for three years, incidentally. So when we finally, the war ended, and I found myself in Austria, in a private house with a veranda, etc., etc., and a real bed, I couldn't sleep at all. <laughs>